no idea if I'm going. There we go. Hey, hey. I think we're good then. All right. So now let me just look at YouTube on my phone so I can actually watch this video. Or can I, because I can't look at YouTube here. How do I see where people are in the chat? This is all new to me. I usually just go to, I need to go to your channel probably. Okay. See if you have the, uh, I wonder if I could just do, let's see. Well, if anybody's out there. It. Ooh, we switched. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Ah, so there's zero people in the live chat. There we go. I'm watching it on my phone now. Oh, cool. We're live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hey, everybody's not there. We'll wait a little while. People filter in. If you're watching this on the rewind, don't uh, just skip past this stuff until you start to see comics fly. Give it a little bit of time. Let people filter in. I only started two minutes late. Not that bad. And very cool. So how, am I able to switch who the camera's on? Do I have like that control? Uh, usually if you click on like yourself, oh. <laughs> so there'll be a white box, like a, yep. with a white border. So if you click on me, it'll be the same thing. So whoever has that white box on your screen will have, that'll be who the focus is on. So we got so many in the chat. Let us know who you are. I'll tell you right now, I did the hardest thing I've ever done. Because they were so bulky, I took them out of the brown box. But I haven't opened this up. Excuse me. Yes, sweetie. What? Okay. So I've had two open boxes and I have not looked inside them yet, which is <laughs> it's been killing me. But you know, all for a good cause. Yeah, I, I did end up opening one yesterday just because I, I did tell yeah. someone I did I was gonna open one so I can recap that one real quick for everybody, I guess. So Yeah, well I caught you I caught your whole show um driving home after the soccer oh, cool. game yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I, I got like three Spider Mans and a uh Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which I have no idea what that Earth's Mightiest Heroes is. Yeah. Uh, but the main book that I got was this uh, Spider Geddon number one Philip Tan variant. So Wait. By far the best book of the bunch. So uh, I think this is probably worth hopefully more than the whole box. I had $40 on it, but I rebagged it because the bag that it came in was kind of janky and it was falling yeah. apart. So I switched it. Okay. So that was my other box. So this one I have not opened yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is in it. Yeah, I'm not sure that I love the um the price stickers on there. Yeah. It's kind of like you got before this much. Like I'll sell it on eBay and tell you how much it's worth. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, we got one watcher. You know if Houdat's going to make it today? Um, I kind of doubt it because he yeah. said he was getting ready for vacation. Oh wow. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Does that <laughs> is that one watcher you? Probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my yeah. chat. It's right there. Yep. Wednesdays are pretty busy in this comic book community we have going on here. All right. Well, why don't we get started then? I don't want to waste either of our time too much. Um, do one book a piece, at least sure. for the first one. Yeah. All right. I'm going to close my eyes here, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna take the books out. And I'm going to put them back in upside down. So I don't know what's there. Oh, I'll let you go first. Label, but you want me to go first? Yeah. All right. We'll so first fire work. then. Ooh. Wow. That's a cool first one. That's like a, a nice. Uh, I guess Spider-Man really number one. Bottom one since I flipped him upside down. Yeah. That's <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man. Um, Legacy issue 802. Oh, that's a hmm. Perillo cover. That is some hotness. Yeah, I think he just got announced for C2E2. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a lenticular oh. GI zombie number one. Ooh, oh, sweet. There you go. So there's my first one. Like I said, these I don't know what bags is it these guys use, but come on. Like, this one's already falling apart and everything. I so get some new bags, dude. But, yeah, yeah, I hate that. Oh, just you ordered, I just saw somebody in the chat, and then it's like, oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Let's get my second book going here. 
Now I know one of these is a giant size X Men number one. <laughs> I just I just know it. It is not this one. Oh. That an Earth's Mightiest Hero. Oh, let me put me up. That is oh Dark Rain the list. Um, Avengers. This is not a variant. So this is Dark Rain the list number one uh, by Brian Michael Bendis, who I just saw last weekend. And nice. Let's see if I can get this name right. Georgievich and Morales yeah. and Garcia. Well, so I have no idea what it's book. about the, the Dark Rain little series. Hey, hey Prowler. Prowler. Yeah. How you doing? Welcome, buddy. We are opening our uh, our Spider-Man booth boxes. I got this really sick-looking uh, Prillo variant, and I got this, and Woodard can show you his book. All right. So once again, get some new bags, dude. Come on. It's <laughs> my next one. Uh, I actually just saw this book today. It's Amazing Spider-Man hey, 538 from the Civil War run. Oh, sweet. So, not too bad. It's a good, Very nice. good run. I remember reading that when it came out. So okay. that was a good one there. This one is lighter. I think this is more of a, a Copper Age or Bronze Age book. Huh? Nice. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 272. Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 272. Uh, let's see. Think you've got me, at Webhead? Well, make way for Slide. S-L-Y-D-E. So this guy's superpower is the ability to slide. <laughs> um, or his supervillain power. That's pretty cool, though. Nice. Uh, let's see, 65 cents. That's about 1988. Not bad. All Not right. worth $8. <laughs> <laughs> So we got here another Transformers book. The Transformers Unicron. Unicron number six. He has fifteen dollars on this. Yeah. So according to Don, oh. the comic book chunky, the guy at that Spider-Man booth at the shop does some of the art for the Unicron stuff. Oh, okay. Is um, that's why we've been getting so many of those in the box? Yeah, I wondered that. For a very small segment of the population, I guess um, they're popular. Um, and, and they do go for a bit on eBay, but they're not something that I've heard of or that I'm interested exactly, in. Exactly, yeah. No, this is the first bag that's not falling apart, so that's there good. You go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's see what Look we got forward. here next. I don't think that's the way as a Punisher. Yeah. All right, so this is, I can't read, Daredevil versus Punisher. Uh, means and Ends. From Marvel Knights, number three, um, David Lapham is the only creator on the cover. So I guess he was the author. Nice little cover there. Not something necessarily that I'm interested in, but a decent comic. All right. Let's see what I got here. Stranger Things. Cool looking cover. They have 20 oh, I like, bucks I on like that cover. Yeah. Um, it's pretty nice. John the Comic Book Junkie got that one. I got the one that oh, looked yeah? like... Like the ripped novel paperback. Um, oh, nice. You're riding the bike. Pretty cool. Cool. I missed that on this the first time, so I'm actually thinking I'm going to read that one. <laughs> Clayton Crane's the one who did that cover. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, welcome, poor man. EMC. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see what's coming up. This is this would be the top book in the lot, so they usually go from the least um, valuable to the most. So this probably isn't a big book, but let's see. <laughs> Transformers yeah, that familiar. Unicron. Is that the same one you have? What I'm you have? pretty sure it's exactly the same. <laughs> I've got issue six. How much is yours priced at? 15 bucks. Me too. It's, it's the same book. <laughs> hey, hey, there's Rudat. He can unbox the uh, box. Yeah. You. you got a, you got a awesome. box ready to go? Already. Right. <laughs> Here, here's the dramatic conclusion of my box too. Unless you, you want to show one book first, I, I, I'll show this book since I already have it. But okay. this is about this is about a twenty dollars. <laughs> I got that in my in my box last. I got that one in my only other box I got from the first time. Yeah. So I mean, it, it is about a twenty twenty dollar book. I've seen it on eBay. So it's a cool. it, it is a variant. It's done by the uh, that Spider Man booth guy. All right. So I don't, you don't want me to show them all or what? No, no. Well, yeah, you can go because I just finished my box. I got a yeah. second one coming. I up. got one more, but you can go and show your box and then catch up. <laughs> well, I'll just show these two real quick. We okay. got some Spider Man and Hornet. I have no idea, and some more Spider Man, Ultimate Spider Man. There you go. 
Now this one might be a. This one looks like a keeper. I think this. Uh, I know this just has to do with something. Oh, sweet! Avengers, huh. Avengers one eleven. Oh, nice. Pretty nice condition. Look like too. Pretty nice. Yeah, and it looks like I've got my last book is something I think everybody has looked like they've gotten this one. This Spider one. Man. <laughs> yep, Spider Man. <laughs> This is the one I didn't own, though. This is the nice. 1500, uh, 1500 copy one. So it's okay. I've, I've owned other one, though. It's 750, <laughs> but this is the. Cool. the uh, <laughs> I mean, so I would say, all in all, I think that, the, you know, I got well over the value of the box on that one. Because I know yeah. that Spider didn't sell for so about 30 to 35 on eBay. Nice. You so know. here, here's my you final. Care, everything's about five. I would say bid the bigger books about like five dollars all. So yeah, I mean if you look at it, thirty five plus twenty, right there, it's you know seventy five dollars only on two books. And I don't know what the I don't know what the Avengers you know one eleven goes for. So it's a twenty center. So that's nice. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that one myself, like you said. All right, here's yeah, my final cover final cover comment. So let's see what we got. Oh, oh cool. Man. That's awesome. Oh, that's nice. So that's, that's the uh, that's basically the legion? first legion, yeah, first, first legion. legion. Sweet. So nice. That's, that's, that's cool. So there you go. That's my final book. All right. I'm like not complaining that. about that. All right. I got my box here again. I, it's upside down. So any see none of this? Who that? Do you have another one or? Yeah, I have another one. Okay, so we'll go. We'll go back. We'll go one for one then. First up. Oh, oh, that's nice. It's my that second was, copy of this. One? That was the first one. <laughs> wow. That no, that would you know because I did them upside down, so that would oh, okay. on the bottom. So that's um, that's Art Germ and Chip Zdarsky writing Peter Parker Spectacular. Now, who is this? I mean, this is just like a generic hot chick with a sword and claws. I mean, it's like, it's, uh, supposed to be like what Lady Deadpool. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, so I feel a little Deadpool similar. Either. Gotcha. I didn't know Lady Deadpool had claws like at twenty three. So <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I I have no idea because I thought I was Lady Deadpool, but you know. Yeah, I just I just shipped my my other one off to JP. He's getting it signed by Art Germ for me. So doubling up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's go over to who that. It looks like in the chat, Tyler like Art Germ. 581. I went the other way. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to keep the suspense. Hey, Discovery Bay. You've been You've discovered. discovered. You've been discovered. All hey, right. That's, that's, that's a pretty cool cover. Dan Slot. Yeah. All right. My next one up. Ooh. <clears throat> Old school Daredevil there. Man Without Fear and. Who is this? This is the termination of typhoid. Two ninety Daredevil two ninety seven. <clears throat> Little rain cover. Yeah, typhoid Mary. She's in the uh, newest season. Of oh really? Okay, probably like a twenty five dollar book. <laughs> it might have been Iron Fist. Actually, I can't remember. All those shows <laughs> kind of run together for me. I think she's in the latest Iron Fist season. Cool. All right. Hey, we got seven watchers. That's pretty good. Ooh, Uncanny X Men 600 variant edition. Emma Frost action figure. Actually, I've right. never seen an action figure of Emma Frost. Yeah, I've <laughs> never really seen one like the, the 90s action figure style before. That's pretty neat. So, PMC says that that was Mary Jane on my art germ, which is sort of what it looked like, but it's Mary Jane with a, a, a sword and, and um, two claws coming out of her arm. So, who knows? So yeah, um, APMC bought three of these boxes to go after that Ghost Spider variant. <laughs> I think that's kind of what what we're all doing. Like, I didn't, I didn't hate my boxes, but I, I wasn't like loving them. But when I saw that Giant Size X Men was a possibility, I, I jumped. I'm actually shocked I didn't get it, but I jumped on that. So this one, <laughs> <laughs> dang. <laughs> He must have a I, like not to be, not to make fun. He must have a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have, like I said, I have all of them, 
All the variants for that, that number six and doubles of that fight <laughs> one now. <laughs> one of them meets the uh, All right. Who that? Oh, there we go. X Men 17. Oh, sweet. Oh, not bad. I say Hubert right there. <laughs> oh, nice. The soul center. Hubert. All right, yeah, so that Spider-Man booth is going to have a, a booth at C2E2. Oh, nice. I'll probably have to look them up because I think they, they have like a discount code at their booth they hand out. Oh, cool. So right. we'll see what they got. Oh, another Dark Rain Wolverine number one, one shot. Is this a variant? Nope. This is straight up, but that's pretty cool. Jason Aaron. Nice. I like that. So now I got two of these Dark Rain the list. Anybody know what Dark Rain the list is about? It wasn't Dark Rain where like the all the villains basically took over the books. Yeah, Dark, Dark, like yeah Dark, all the Dark Rain runs actually were pretty good. Okay. I know the Avengers one was Dark Avengers was. Well, I, I got yeah. I got two I got Dark Avengers in my last box though. So I don't know. This might be a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only guessed it because I was like, this is a thick book. <laughs> yeah. that, that's the variant for number six. That's the retailer incentive, I think. Yeah, this is the, re the retail incentive one. The white one is like the, I guess, the exclusive. The white one is more exclusive, red. Yeah, R-E instead of R-I. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. So this is my second one of this. So on the next auction, you will see the black and the white one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I can only sell two of the same. <laughs> so hopefully, um, unless I might give it away on my 500 sub, sub contest, I might give them away. There you go. There you go. All right. My last book, my last chance to get Giant Size X Men number one. Uh oh. It's Marvel. Marvel. It could be, oh, no. It's an amazing Spider Man, though. Oh, oh there we go. Two. Two. Seven. New stand. <laughs> <laughs> 2967, When Cometh the Commuter. It's a bad guy named the Commuter. <laughs> he has not stuck around too long. But hey, worth it. This is neat. He was probably a road rage. The funny thing is, uh, like a, a lot of the Spider Man books are at least eight to ten bucks. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. I'll, I'll tell you, um, in summary, fellow viewers out there in superhero land, um, I don't think I'm going to buy another Spider-Man booth box, but I said that last time too. Um, <laughs> the value is, you're not, I mean, you got to do the legwork to sell on an auction or sell on YouTube to get your money back. Um, I don't think it's a ripoff. Uh, you know, the, the, the boards are like you would said, I haven't had any problems with my bags ripping, but he said some bags come apart the seams. But what I do like now is, right, this is what I'm keep, keeping books and cons in. Because this is a nice box, right? You put this in your backpack with a bunch of comics in that you want to get signed. And so just having these boxes is is pretty darn cool. Um, That's what know, I did last time um, uh, when I went to the convention. That's what I did. And then they're, they're really good to ship with, too. Yeah, this yeah. is my first one. I already got this one filled, ready to go for... Uh, um, or bless you, uh, Emerald City, but I have four other piles, so I need to get a few more boxes. Um, so I don't know why I got people here. I got a massive hole to show. I don't know if you guys want to stick around. You got any comics to show or if you're busy or what? I got my last book. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got my last book. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, Scott, I was like, <laughs> that's funny. I, like, it's genuine, it's genuinely smiling. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> wow. Oh, you saw it live on Tacoma nice. Comics channel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so, lord! So you said you said you're not gonna get any more. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. I was like a virtual connection away. 
<laughs> but uh, I guarantee you probably were close because I think we all ordered it around the same time. Honestly, probably I ordered yeah. this. Cause I, cause I remember you. I remember you saying something about it. And I think I either ordered right before, or right after. Yeah. Like, and the, the numbers probably we could always look at our order numbers, but I know our numbers couldn't have been too far apart because I remember you saying that you were getting it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I couldn't remember if I got it right before, or right after. I think it was right before. I want to say no. No, it was actually after because you got into it. You was like, I'm going to get the giant side. I was like, all right. I said, I'm going to try and do that. Yeah, I think I was like order 1811 or something. I'll do. So yeah. take take it out. What sort of condition? I, I, it's, probably, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little gray, but even in, in the, with this book, even yeah. with this book, let me get rid of this old cheap tape. Yeah, don't, don't yeah, pull that right off. Don't let that get anywhere near that. And comic. like, look, I wasn't even going to probably make it because I'm leaving <laughs> on for vaca vacation. So I probably yeah, wouldn't even gonna open it until after. After I come back, so he'd have been like, "Man, who won the who won the pool?" <laughs> uh, is the, is bidding the back of it. I would say it's a lower grade. It's probably about a four. A four, yeah. But I mean, even even then, it's intact. I mean, geez. it's intact. It's uh probably off white pages. That's that's it. But this is going four and a four. Is that like a thousand dollar book? Eight hundred. Probably eight hundred at least. Yeah, sweet man. And I'm just going by like I've had books lower grades, so I'm just going by that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the staples are there, the cover is yeah. there. It's just, you it's can get the pressed on the back. It just has some rips and stuff. It probably can be a press. Probably could help it a little bit, but it's you know, it's got I probably rips. I probably wouldn't press it. Yeah, I would yeah. probably I'd probably let somebody look at it and they let them make the judge. <laughs> PMC yeah, but, says you probably thought that was another Transformers book coming up. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was. <laughs> because you know, I, I felt the last two books, and I said they're pretty thick, and I was like, ah, they're probably both Transformers. I'm, I'm gonna watch one, my, I know this is my own live feed. I'm gonna go watch this on the rewind though, just to see that. That was like, <laughs> yeah, it, it does. It does have some rips and stuff, but it, I, I think a pressing probably could help because you could see some yeah. wrinkles in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could see on time. time. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I just had to get somebody, you know, get somebody like Paul Midwest to really take care of it and. You know, take their time with it because right. you don't want to cause more damage. But I know pressing would help this book, so I think it's I think as stands, it's probably a solid four. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a good book. I wish. I wish. I wish more of the people you know was living who was involved with this book because this, yeah. be yeah. this would be a perfect. book. This would be the perfect one to just get signed by people. Oh yeah. You know, it's because it's a you know since it's a lower grade copy. Nice so. Prowler asked, now, now is there a rip on the lower spine? Hmm? The Prowler wants to know, is there a rip on the lower spine? Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's common. I don't know if people ever had these books. That's common. Yeah. That's common. I, I got like a, my, my, I actually have one, a graded copy, but it's higher grade. And it has like a blowout somewhere in here in this area. And I noticed with those books that that's common and they, they don't take off as much as you would think for that. Since with these square bound kind of books. It's everything else they take off for. Well, hold it up. I'm getting a picture for my Instagram, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I didn't have uh, I didn't have, yeah. Let me get one I only closed YouTube because I, I got picture in picture right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really glad you got that book, Huda. Like, of all people of who are going to get, right? like, that book, like, you, you plug them so much and get so many of their boxes. Like, you got to get something from them eventually. So I'm glad you got that. I was on the last one because I opened four boxes. And I was like, they had value, I would say, in three out of the four. Like, it had value. But I was just like, I was like, man, I keep getting so many of these boxes. And I keep striking out. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. So, see, would go, go tell us what your, your top three books from that, uh, uh, probably between the two boxes I've got, the top three books would definitely have to be a Spider Geddon number one, just the, that cool KRS exclusive. That's cool. Uh, I, like I know that. a lot of people got it, but it, yeah, it's it's just a nice store variant. I definitely enjoy having that. Uh, probably the Clayton Crane Stranger Things, really nice cover there, and then definitely New Mutants twenty six. And like cool. I said earlier, I think this is a beautiful copy. I gotta say so. That's Overall, nice. I, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the two boxes I've got. Between those three books, I'd say, you know, the other ones are probably, you know, dollar to five dollar fines for me. I could justify those, but yeah, those are some really nice books. I thought so. Definitely a, another thumbs up. I always gotta say, you guys are talking about the shipping too. Like the shipping's pretty amazing. It come in a nice box. 
Um, and then they come UPS too, free shipping for two boxes. UPS that, shipping. That's so, nice. And you see, yeah, it's very nice because you get a lot of shipping that's, details. And that's how they get me. Honestly, like I've I've I bought a lot, but it, and it's main. I wouldn't have bought as many as I've have if I wouldn't have had free shipping. Um, that that's what kind of kind of drought drove me to it. When you do the cost of getting two boxes with the free shipping and. You know, even if I wouldn't have got this, I was actually pretty happy with <laughs> with, my, with my box. Nice. So like, Let's check, check the chat. Yeah, APMC, that's the first Legion. Discovery Bay, take care. Thanks, man. So I mean, my top ones, even though this is my second one of these, right, now I can definitely – I was I was wondering what to do because I'm not a big fan of just, like, putting a sexy woman on the cover that has nothing to do with the book. Um, but I don't hate sexy women either. <laughs> and I feel the fact that this is like, I don't know if that's Deadpool or Spidey's belt and whose is that, whose katana is that, whose claws are those, whose face. I mean, it's really bewildering, but it's still a freaking virgin variant art germ. So now that I got two of them, I can definitely sell one of these. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is sweet. I, I like this cover a lot. This Perillo. Yeah, that was nice. That yeah, is, I'm, I'm that gonna is, I'm that one. That is really nice. Um, because I, I'm going to look at this, but I don't have anything this run. I might end up auctioning this just because I know I can put money towards stuff I wanted, but I might keep it because I really freaking like it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. And then Crowler said that one of these was a key. That one of these. Uh, I think the one behind it. I think the one with the slashes. Yeah. Because I, 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 I have that book somewhere. <laughs> okay. And the reason why I bought it, I think, is because it's a, it's a certain, it's a key. All right. We can look that up because now everybody knows where to go to find their keys, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are you going to C2E2? Me? Yes. Oh, no, I wish. You should, you should send that book for the, to somebody who's going and get it signed by Art Germ. I don't know if JP's in the chat. I already sent JP a medium <laughs> priority. <laughs> Dang. About, and, and I already sent him that Art Germ because that's my second one. All right. <laughs> I gave him I gave him about that many comics and then about that many comics to sign for me. So I said, you keep these and you send these back to me. So, yeah, no, he's, he's doing me a good solid. Uh, uh, my, my top ones are the Avengers 111, the Spider-Getting, and obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say. <laughs> so I don't see Dark One, two, and three. Here. Yeah, in. PMC Art Germ is going to C2E2 this year. Yeah. He is going to be there along with Jenny Frizen and just a whole bunch of people. I think they just announced uh, Lucio Perillo yesterday really? too on the uh, Scorpion Comics is getting Perillo and uh, Clayton Crane, I believe, I heard yesterday. That's pretty cool. That's so pretty I might cool. have to take this Stranger Things maybe too. <laughs> yeah. hey. Actually, I might just take this and get Claremont to sign it. <laughs> if you if you um, flip that that Stranger Things over to me like right away, and I can get Jody Hauser to sign it for you the next week. So if you ship oh, it on yeah. Monday, I should be able to get it by like Thursday before I go to um, ECCC. E oh, nice! You're going to that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Going three days. I got uh so I got a soccer game Thursday, so I can't make it because there's not enough time before, not enough time after. Friday, I only teach one class because it's a half day and I got two periods off. So I'm actually going to school. So I don't have to miss a day. Then I'm spending all day Friday there. Saturday, I'm taking my son. So it's going to be kind of a slow day. And then Sunday is like get every signature that I didn't get nice. um, from other people. So uh, while I'm here, I don't know if what you got going on with. I'm just going to go through a haul that I was going to do. Um, is I got a bunch of books to go through that I want to get sorted. One oh, of the, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just, uh, for the people watching here, I will hit up Midtown at his little sale. Um, there's die number three, the Jen Bartell variant oh, that, right. is, that is getting signed by, um, Jen Bartell at C at, uh, E triple C. Yeah. She's great. Here is die number one, the third printing. Um, so all these were at Midtown and like they're 40% sale. They have time to speak when they do those like flash sales. Angela Asgard Assassin, um, Stephanie Hans cover. 1602 Witch Hunter Angela, Stephanie Hans. I have all the 1602s now that she did. And then there's another copy of Die Number One. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably Sorry. a good one to keep getting. <laughs> uh, yeah, of die number one. Yeah, I've got I got a lot of copies now. 
I was at Half Price Books the other day, and I got this Chip Zdarsky variant for Odyssey number one. I don't know if anybody's seen Odyssey, uh, Red Odyssey. It's it's not for everybody. I just I love that cover. It's really cool. Nice. Um, but Odyssey is a retelling of the Odyssey by Homer, the Homeric epic. If it was a sci-fi space adventure told, written in pentameter with only female characters throughout the entire book. Um, so it's it's Matt Fraction at his at his craziest with Christian Ward on just really beautiful, crazy artwork. Um, it's not for everybody, but it, it's for me, and I, I love I love Odyssey. So it's really cool. And he did write the whole thing in pentameter, which is insane. Um, White Whale sent me these two. I'm going to get them both signed oh, and send them back that, this bro. one. And he's letting me keep this one because uh, Kieran Gillen and McKelvey are going to be there. And I'm also nice. I'm going to send him a few other books. I won this one from uh, Thanatos. That is the Adam Ooh. Hughes Captain Marvel. Very nice. Yeah. I uh, West Coast Avengers 4. I found this for a buck or 50 cents, and it's a small key. And, oh, look. <laughs> I got this the other day, <laughs> die number one, third printing. I'm actually going to fourth printing. So I, I got this off the um, Hero Initiative auction. I got this in like a nine, I don't know what it is, a nine, eight, and I didn't know it existed. So I started looking for it, and I found this is the ghost variant for Sex Criminals number one. Mm. Um, so I'm going to get Matt Fraction and, and Chip Zdarsky to sign that. This is the ghost variant for Pretty Deadly. I can't remember who the artist on this is, but uh, I like this one a lot, too. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with this comic. This is Die. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a great cover. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Guess I already had that. That one is Die number one. And these <laughs> are, so these are my second and third copies. My first copies are, are in there. And then there's Die number three and die number two i think that's the only die you'll see that's the last die you'll see boom right there i got this uh two oh, i bought a book off of two and two mua always throws extra books down um so yeah apmc it's really cool um yeah no problem who that um yeah, and Jen Bartell is awesome. I like her her new book actually. Um, Skybird, Bird, Blackbird, Black. Yeah, Black yeah, Blackbird's pretty good. Blackbird is pretty good. Um, this is the one that that shocked me. Um, I think this is what I got from two for like fifteen bucks. Usagi Ojim nice. number one, and Stan Sakai is not at Emerald City this year, but he's uh. He's he's always at Rose City or Emerald City, so I will see him. And then I can't remember who I got this from. This is like five bucks, and it's signed by James Tinian, Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number oh, that's one. a good book. Yeah, this one I paid what it's worth, but I was excited to get it because um, I didn't have it yet, and I really wanted it. And there's the uh, first appearance of Dazzler in X Men One Thirty. Nom number one, which I'm working on this whole thing now. Oh, okay. So getting nom number one is pretty cool. Newsstand. <laughs> I was waiting for that. And that was another. That was another five dollar book. That and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were like. Yeah, super that's not a bad price for that. Uh, super ridiculous. I mean, yeah. No, and signed. And then um, yeah. I won these off of uh, from oh, the nice. New York Very Board. Nice. And who did I win them from? My mind's going blank. <laughs> it's a long day, man. <laughs> it's a long day. There are six soccer teams in our league. Two of them are like ridiculously good. And then there's the other four. We are one of the other four. And we got we got destroyed um yesterday. And so I'm recovering. <laughs> my girl. I, mean, I got I got mainly sixth graders and like my tallest player is about a foot shorter than the tall than the shortest player on the other team. It was just oh perfect. man! I found these for two bucks each at a half price. Oh yeah, you got to pick those up for two bucks. Yeah, and for some reason they put two number sixes in there. Got the whole set. 
I don't know. I know you showed a whole bunch of books yesterday, Carson. So I don't know if you got anything to show or if you just. Yeah. Being well, I actually went picking today because oh, I was okay. on the road. So well, I can let, me, let me take a break and I'll, I'll I'll put it on you for a bit. I just okay. Check on. No, I'm probably gonna show these off on my Tuesday stream again anyway. So that's okay. <laughs> It'll be a rerun for the people who watch both. But the best book I got today, I got this. It was uh, 20 bucks at my shop, but I had a $10 credit. So I figured like, ah, screw it. I'll upgrade my copy of X-Men 50. So here, I put this on my Instagram earlier. Oh, sweet. Uh, probably my third favorite Storinko cover. It's uh, Behind uh, the Nick Fury Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number four and the number one. But yeah, this is just a beautiful copy of X-Men 50. So uh, I, I, I mainly went to my store to get this because I was there Sunday buying some bags. And I saw this in a stack of things that were being priced. I'm like, I bet those will be out for sale Wednesday. So uh, luckily I was exactly right. So yeah, poor man's comics, that's 20 bucks. I'm, I'm counting it as 10 bucks. <laughs> so you, I got that. You, how that? bad is your older copy? Um, I got to look it over still. I was going to take it out. I'm probably going to end up selling it at some point because I'm upgrading to this one. Um, so I'm, it's, I think it's got a little bit of tape on it, if I remember right, but it's uh, not bad otherwise. So. I'll probably yeah. offload that one on JP's auction. And he has had some $5 silver Marvel oh, today. Sweet. So I'm like, eh, I'll pick up some $5 silver all day. I so mean, I had that. Back. You keep going. Cool. Had a Daredevil issue 53 for five bucks. 46. And it's a little bit stained. But hey, five bucks. I wanted to clean out my shop. So they uh, have to deal with this guy again and refill. <laughs> He's basically, I, I overheard him talking to another guy about these uh, books he got over the weekend and he just said like yeah some old guy rolled in with the short box none of these were bagged and bored and he just i guess the guy he he might bring back a uh, amazing spider-man 129 and another uh hulk 181 so i'm just like well crap now i gotta buy this guy's stuff so uh it encourages the uh, owner to buy everything <laughs> so uh yeah so i got all of this from my shop today i may already have a copy of this i couldn't remember but Figured, why not get another Black Orchid show or adventure comic? So, yeah, her. That. And then I went to um, an a couple antique shops today. Um, I know this vendor, he's in two different antique malls. So, I specifically went to his booths to see what he had. So, he had this Flash 213. And the $2 books, they're usually kind of just reader copies or beat up. But, I mean, they're as far as I can sell, the cover's still attached. But, hey, $2 for. Early Bronze Age, I'll pay two bucks all day. So I got that. Got an Aquaman 55 for two bucks. Sweet. I oh, thought that was really nice. Uh, Strange Adventures 222 for two bucks. This is actually a pretty decent looking copy uh, for as old as that is, and then for two bucks. This one looks like it's been chewed up by animals of some sort, but it was two bucks. Uh, I got a Wonder Woman 131. Uh, so Silver Age for two bucks. Figured why not just go ahead and get it. Now you have it. I may already have had this one from a couple hauls ago, but I, I just like the Nick Cardi cover. Uh, Superman 279. So if I have another copy of this, I might sell this one. But uh, a little jerk kid drew on it probably in the 70s over the 20 cent. I guess they're trying to reprice it themselves. <laughs> um, and then the last store I went to, it's like his higher brow stuff, in my opinion. So, I mean, they're, they're still not perfect copies, obviously, for the age. Uh, but I think these range from three to five dollars. Uh, so I think for four bucks, I got this Wonder Woman, uh, one ninety three. So I thought that was a really nice quality copy for four bucks. Uh, all these Fantastic Fours were five dollars, but I think they were well worth it. So oh, I got wow. issue thirty five. I think this is the first appearance of Dragon Man. So I got that. Uh, I got an issue eighty. So I don't have a lot of old Fantastic Four either. So I was having, I figured if I clean them out, he'll, he'll bring back more. <laughs> so that's usually the way it works with this guy. And then 106. And I think everything else on the stack was three bucks. So got a Doom Patrol 96. Just thought it was a cool purple cover. Flash 208. Wow. You scored big. Yeah. Uh, this, this guy has good stuff. I keep cleaning him out of Phantom Stranger, so he, he found a number 10 and brought it in, and I swooped it up. So I think I've bought in, like, almost this guy's entire Phantom Stranger collection. Uh, I got a Thor 300. And then the last book, continuing Daredevil, I got Daredevil 95 for three bucks. So, yeah, that was my whole day. So, 
all that. That was a good day. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, I got to finish this up with a few more books because my wife's not feeling well, so I got to take the kid to Taekwondo. Um, so yes, this is first print. You know, I had, Poor Man Comics asked me if this was first print since I got it for 20 bucks, and I panicked. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> I know, yeah, it, and there's nothing in there to indicate that it's not first print. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure it is. The rest of the books that I picked up, um, these are all $2, uh, or ha these are all just whatever half off um, cover price was. These all half price books. I got some more Hans Batman, nice. uh, New Avengers, New Avengers 4, first Maria Hill, and that ridiculous oh, nice. woman butt, uh, <laughs> first Illuminati. Uh, that sick Ronin cover by Finch. Um, 16 is something. <laughs> yeah, those are good buys for two bucks. 27 was a, a $2 book, then a $30 book, now a $15 book. <laughs> um, 30 is something. And, I think that's uh, uh, Brother Voodoo Becomes Sorcerer Supreme, if I remember right. Could be. And then this one is something as well, uh, 40. So they had like a huge run, and I just grabbed all the ones that were keys. Some of them, they had doubles, final bunch of books. Um, I just really like this uh, cover with Silk and Miss Marvel. Yeah, that's a nice cover. Who's this guy? That almost kind of looks like Addie Granov, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's not a signature, but um, these are like, you know, my, my family's, well, my kids are half Asian. My wife's Asian, so this is an all Asian cover. I was one to pick that up. I got a couple of those. Got that uh, 19, the beginning of Weapons of Mutant Destruction. Uh, I just grabbed that, 50 cents. Nice. That's a good one to get right now. Got these half off, um, number one, and then the, the wedding. I still think the wedding is going to happen right at the end in, of Tom King's run in issue 105. So hold on to those 24s, boys and girls. Um, and I got a bunch of new 52s, nice. uh, all minor keys, and just beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it was a great run. Cool. Love that. Get into it now. Right yeah, the first Mr. Bloom and the first zero year. Um, I can't remember what this one is, um, but it's something cool. And this one here, and then I this, this is the first Mr. Bloom. Yeah. This is the origin of Mr. Bloom, and, and oh, there's like a variant cover. Sorry, that's the variant for the first. This is the oh, okay. Bloom. This is the Jacques cover. Yeah, that's a nice and one. See the. The beginning of the, like that Joker 880 that he did. Um, first full Godspeed Pop Dot Comics. If you're watching, I grabbed that for you. <laughs> um, she bought a whole bunch for me the other day, and I didn't have that one. Nightwing number one from New 52. Uh, then I got the 52. I got the Week Seven. Very nice. I here. love that run. <laughs> the Week Nine. The Week Eleven. Another copy of the week nine. Also, they had this. I'm really excited for this one. Ooh, very nice. And I have a copy of that. I don't know what happened. So I think my brother took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one of those, again, with the Blood Wolf card, because I'll always buy those for 50 cents. Um, Empress and Huck. Oh, there you go. With that other Mark Millar. I just like these covers, these Batwoman yeah. uh, zero and one. Really sweet. And then this is the first Alice, who apparently is something. Uh, I love that cover. I always like that's one of my. Favorite. I got that signed by Rucka on my wall. I have, I got it. I got to get that one signed by Rucka. And then I grabbed two of these. Number one in the first Fing Fang Foom. And then these were doubles of the ones you've already seen. So I actually had some of those twice. Nice. And that is about it. Let's just run through the chat one more time. And let's see, first Asian team, Mr. Bloom cover. Oh, and it, I got to get a sticker off. Spawn number two, <laughs> 25 cents. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, definitely <laughs> not bad at all. Uh, yeah, and that is about that. So boys and girls and Houdat and Carson, and everybody watching the chat, thanks for being here. Thanks for... I was almost as excited as if I had won it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big congrats to Houdat. Like I said, I'm so glad uh, if you know he won it because he's bought in so many of these that Spider-Man yeah. booth boxes. So I mean, he definitely great. earned at least one. 
It's just great that one of us won it. So I yeah. was on the show. So that was really cool. Yeah, that's all awesome. right. So when, when's your next uh, live next Tuesday? Or are you on? Comic yeah, I'll be Friday? doing the uh, signature Sundays this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So I think I'll keep showing sign books. And then my next live stream will be Tuesday, 7 30 p.m. Eastern. All right. So so looking forward to that. Sometime this weekend, I'll be doing my pick of the week. Um, I don't think it'll be live again for a while, uh, but I will be on All About Comics Auction next Wednesday, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, I'll Wednesday. be there. <laughs> I'm sure Carson will be there. All right, everybody, take care. Thank you very much.